Hi there, Michelle from Snazzy Scrappin. And today I'm introducing our newest creator card die set. And this one is a diamond easel card. Um, this was requested from a customer, an elderly customer that um, loves making this card. And she's having more and more difficulties cutting all the little bits and pieces out. So um, I've made um, this one up uh, for her. So I've actually, because I've had a little bit of time to play, made a few different ones um, because you get different dies with it. And I'll show you them as we go along. But it's quite um, uh, clever, quite, quite fun to make this one. And it fits in a square envelope. I know a lot of you will say, oh, I wish it fitted in a C6. But I found that um, if I'm trying to do the die set to fit in a particular envelope, um, I'm not thinking about the actual design. I'm too worried about the envelope. So I've put that out of my head and thought, no, the die set comes first. So if it happens to be a square, um, you'll just have to put two stamps on it. I'm sorry. Um, but I needed it. If I did it to fit in a C6, it was going to be way too small. Okay, so uh, this is the set and you get this uh, large base die with it. Um, very easy to cut out. I've got one here that I'm going to make up for you today and I'll just show you. So I ran it through this side first. Okay, because I don't have the long plates. And then I turned it around and just ran this one back to forward to do that. So I've just washi taped down the edge and I just washi taped the part that wouldn't be part of the design. So it would just come straight out like that. Um, you get, they come together and you've got to pull them apart. Uh, this is the um, ornate shape that I did. And my advice would be, would be just put, it doesn't matter where you put them, just two little marks on your die to know that's where they go together because this shape is not um, totally universal. So it has a right and a wrong way that goes together. Um, you get the squares and um, I'll show you them. You get the rectangles that go there. You get um, the triangles that nest in together. You get this shape that's a little matching one of the larger ones. And I'll just show you on this one because I don't know where I've put the stitched. And you get this stitched rectangle that's for your sentiments and that as well. So see how they come together? They just You just um, twist them and they'll just come apart. Now... I haven't done that in the past. I've actually got uh, the manufacturer to um, take them all apart, but I've found that because I package everything myself, um, it's a lot longer, takes me a lot longer because I've got to count out the dies and this set has 11 dies in it. So um, it's quite a good value set because you get 11 dies. So um, that's why it comes together. So we're going to start with um, this part. Now, I've this is a textured piece of basil. So I fold it in this way. So I make sure that my basil is actually the part that's sitting down this way. Okay, so that's really easy. Now, you can, with all these shapes, now I've already cut and embossed the shapes. So I've used um, this... Um, floral, back, floral background 5x7 embossing folder. Um, now, there's two ways you can use the shape. So you can, if you want, put the rectangles there. Okay. And then you would fit in triangles there. That's not, this is not how it's designed to go because it's just, I'm just showing you that it'll actually fit that way if you wanted to. 
So then you could put the two triangles there, okay, if you wanted to. And you could have it like that if you wanted to. Okay, but we're going to do it how it was. I've designed it. So that is to, I'll just get my great little tweezers here. And if you don't have any of these um, fine tip tweezers, you don't know what you're missing. So we're going to put this to create a diamond shape like that. Now, I've inked around everything and I've done it before everything else um, except this one square and I did it early because I don't want you to have to watch me inking every little bit because it takes time and I know people are busy and don't want to sit watching videos all day. So then I'm going to take the back off that one. Now, when you take the jack paper off with embossing, you just got to be careful because sometimes where you have embossed, see like that, it will rip as well. Okay, so that's going to be, I'll turn it around that way where I haven't smudged as much. That's going to be our base. And then we're going to put our triangles in now just be very careful here because you've got to make sure that that folds over there so don't you can put it right up next to it but I'm just going to leave a little gap like a mosaic effect like you do when you're matting I'll try and get it straight I always find when I'm under the pump in one of these videos that I make little mistakes because I'm not doing it as carefully as what I normally would do And then this one, we've oh, missed a bit of jack paper on that, but it'll be enough to put there. And then this one as well. I love that embossing folder. And this set, um, has cut stitching on it so you'll notice that the stitching on the things is quite pronounced which will make people a lot some people very happy okay so then you've got these two pieces now I could have cut out on this one the cow one I actually did the the inner and the outer but you don't have to you're not going to see the outer one so I've just done the inner one for now And the only time you're going to see that other side is when you close it. So if you want to decorate it, that's fine. Now, all of these, it's all designed that it's so quick and easy for you to put together. The longer spit is planning what colours to, to use choosing designs I'm not the greatest card maker in the world so I sort of try and pick out things that I think will match okay so that's our base part done so you can do that bit there if you want like I said but I'm not going to do that today so then I've got these two dies okay so that's, I've dropped something in there, I don't know what it is. Anyway, so what I said was make sure that you know, I've written, see I've put an arrow on the back of them, make sure you know which way that they go. So this one here, I'm going to put some Nuvo on the back. It's nice and strong glue. And it moves a little bit. It's similar to your Tombow. So this, I just want to, to have a nice decorative shape that would go with, you know, um, the diamond sort of shape as well. So, and on this one, so I'm just going to put that away at the moment. And on this one, just 
just make sure I've got it the right way up. I'm going to use one of these A5 decoupage sheets and I've already, I chose my colours. So you get, in these packs, you actually get um, two sheets. So there's enough for four cards. And this one is the one I'm going to use. So they're all punch out, which is simple, easy to do. And how good does that look? So I'm just going to take that. I try not to use flowers and that all the time. I know people like flowers, but that's why I did the different ones this time. Okay, so you just tape down your first one. Flat. Make sure it's up the right way. Doesn't matter if it sticks out over on this one because it's going to go into, as long as it goes into the envelope. And then we're just going to use some little foam dots. And make sure the foam dots just spread them out a bit now that you mightn't be able to see this but it's got a glitter on these they're very lovely little 3d to do and then you just line that up over the top and then number three we line that over the top as well and you've got your third one okay so we bring this back now and I'm going to put that on the front that's going to be the front of my card Just line it up and put it on there beautiful so with these cards so that's that all done and so with these cards you need like a stopper so I'm going to put the stopper it's actually going to be the green as well with this one so what I did with this to put them down is I actually taped one down where I wanted it to be and I did this with the rectangle as well so I just put it there where I wanted it to be uh, about there probably because I had this and I wanted to put this on there as well this will probably go to my mum for her birthday in May So I'm going to put that down first. Now, with the stopper, you need a little bit of um, height. So I'm going to put a couple of these on. And then another couple. Just so it's got a bit of height. That's how I've done all the others. And then I'm just going to put this one on make sure it's the right way because it's there as well it doesn't really matter okay so then that stops now make sure that you fold your card fold them nice and then that stops that for things so it comes out and sits like that and then we want it to sit like that when we finish can I bring that up so you can sort of see so it sits like I know that's tipping up there now but it doesn't with the other ones you just need to fold it properly okay so then I'm going to add this little flower just to put some a little decoration on there and then I've got a little pearl that I'm going to put on there as well in the middle of that flower just for a bit of 
decoration. You could put that um, this round the other way too if you wanted to so it had more of a lip there to hold on to. So that's that one now. I'm just going to show you. This is the one that I did with the cow. Okay. So that one there I did with the cow. And I just want to show you because for the mere fact that I wasn't really happy with the cow after I did it. And so I've actually done um, this one as well that you could use on that one. So you might like to put in the comments which do you think is the nicer, the, the cow or the flowers. And then I had this little flower that I was going to put on there. So I might end up taking a photo of both of them. But that one I've um, uh, coloured in with Copic markers. Um, this one is just a 3D sheet that um, one of our uh, men's, it's Sport 3. And so that one I've just used Basil and I've used the rectangle with that one. Um, so you get the rectangle as well as a, as a um, stopper. And that one didn't take me very long at all. Uh, this one I've actually used this little stamp set. Um, which is called the Cute Hedgehog. Um, and I've also used the Green Tara uh, Mini Flowers. I've used our Card Maker's Dream Paper Pack with um, this one. I just love that uh, eucalyptus type leaf on that one. Um, it's one of my favourite. And I've also used the Paper Boutique uh, winter romance um, sheets on that one as well there yeah. it's 200 gsm which it's not as it's not as um, robust as the basil but it's still once you've put all the pieces on this one it's fine to to um, to make that card with and then that one's got a basil base and that I found it, find it's probably a bit better. And this one I've done all out of basil, nothing else but the basil and that. But those 3D shapes are just beautiful, aren't they? So I hope you've enjoyed that today. And I'll just go over so you've got the um, 11 dies. You've got the, the base die, the um, decorative shape, and you end up with a little decorative shape as that as well. Um, the squares, the rectangles with the smaller rectangle as the base and the two triangles and that little shape. And they're just gorgeous cards. So I'm really happy that I went ahead with that one and hope you enjoyed that. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.